we have safety rules that we call them the golden rules, universal rules of patents, and they are awesome. This one rule that I love, and a lot of my colleagues sometimes we can have beers and argue on this in a nice way, is that the middle is your golden mine. Not only when you are defending, but also when attacking. So we are going to focus on the attacking today. Now, for this rule to be effective, you need to always keep in mind that when you play in the middle, you have to be precise. Secondly, you have to understand that if you play in the middle, you have to play shorter or sharper, basically. In other words, if you're going to play a shitty shot in the middle, then you have made a terrible choice. Then the shot, if you are not set to play shorter or sharper, then you need to play to the side, more to the side. Why? Because the rebound that goes to the side will not penalize you as much but the rebound that you give when you play in the middle is going to put you in lots of trouble. So the idea when you play to the middle is to play sharp or short. Yeah, short as in maybe two bounces. Now, guys, Rika will show you later when I hit her some balls what we are working on to achieve playing in the middle. As you see, playing in the middle is basically playing as a straight, as you can to this middle line yeah that's why also i think it's a very nice reference and a very nice area of the course to use a lot because you have the line as a reference yeah sorry about my precision so anyway how you can achieve that line is remember that the ball is maybe coming from different angles from different heights and feet so this is when your your footwork and technique to position your body properly matters a lot. For example, if I try to play middle like this, yeah, the ball might go in the middle, but at the end, it's going to the side. It's going to the player's hand. Or if I play more middle here from a ball that is a little bit farther away, and I don't use my legs, well, it's going now again middle towards the player's hand. So to get that straight line, I need to make sure that regardless of what kind of ball I get, that when I hit my shoulder, is parallel to that line. A good reference, like I said, is if she's parallel to the line, the ball will go pretty straight. You use this technique when you are playing in this area. When the shot that you are receiving is more on the outside area, then you need to think of the second bounce. You need to play from, we say, from outside to inside. But that will be in a different video. Yeah, so right now we are just going to learn how to play from the middle area to the middle area as straight as possible. All right, guys, so for Rika's practice, we have two things we're going to focus on. Those orange marks are a good reference for her to play not deeper than that. She can play sharp, but not deeper than that, so the ball doesn't give. Any rebound, or if he gives some rebound, it's going to be a small rebound, yeah? Also, remember the Mickey Mouse ears. To play short and sharp, the racket needs to go higher, yeah? Because we're going to play lower. Okay. Okay. That is the one. Nice. Nice. Ah, I like that. Yes, competitive mind. Yeah, it's the same thing. The thing is sometimes on forehand, we don't trust that, yes, we need to get that much sideways to keep that line so the ball goes in the middle. Yeah? So remember that everything we do is symmetrical. So if I'm doing this for backhand, I need to do the same for forehand. Okay? So not because it's forehand, I'm going to step like this, but I'm going to step like this. It's the same. You got to keep the shoulders to tackle someone 
and on backhand, like Vika was doing, tackling someone with the other shoulder. So let's see if she has better luck on forehand. All right, you have to put it in the basket. Yeah? All right, go. Sorry, that basket. <laughs> Not this one. Go. That basket, I mean. Okay. Okay, that was good precision. Go. Go, 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 go. No, sorry. Go. That was good, though. Almost, almost. Eh? You're like the Mexican uh, football team. They always shoot very close, but they never score. Oh, yo, yo. That was Finland football team. So why do you think the ball is curving this way? I think you can tackle better, yeah? And this is what I was saying when you were picking up the balls, that on backhand, it's more natural because it will be too weird to do this, or it will be too weird to do this. But remember that everything we do is symmetrical. So if this is what's okay for you on backhand, then I need this on forehand. Bam. Yeah, see? Goal, 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 goal. Ooh. Nice. There is, there is. Ooh. One and we go for lunch. I have a plane to catch next Friday. Go. Oh. <laughs> go. Yes, that is. That is. Yeah, but that's good. So, so, also remember that because you put slice, which is a beautiful thing, the ball might change the direction when it hits the glass. But the concept, now, no kidding, is that the balls have to end up finish. Uh, they have to finish, sorry close to the, to the basket. And if the basket was a bit bigger, you will be scoring more goals, which is, is the concept, okay? Nice. There is, there is. <laughs> Finally. Okay, we are done with that.